Hey, what's up everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you to the conversation. So today we're going to be talking about Ty Lu deciding to sign as a top assistant coach to the LA Clippers. Now, first of all, <clears throat> If you've been following the story, if you've been following the league for some time, you remember that Ty Lue was actually the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers when LeBron was there. Now, before Ty Lue became the coach, the head coach in uh, Cleveland, he was the assistant head coach to David Blatt at the time. Now, when David Blatt was coaching the Cleveland Cavaliers, this is when LeBron had just first decided that he was going to come back to Cleveland to play. LeBron didn't really, he didn't really believe in him, and he actually didn't really communicate with him much until I think they got to training camp, and a lot of people were like, whoa, this is going to be a red flag, that, you know, the best player on the team hasn't really communicated with the coach, etc., 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 so that was, that was, people were already speculating that LeBron wasn't really happy with who that, you know, with, with David Black, and the season started, and then things were going okay. Then they played against the, I believe it was the Golden State Warriors, and they got blown off the floor. They got blown off the floor, and LeBron was just like, and they were like, that was the find out, that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, and for that, they were going to get a new coach. And I think a couple of days later, David Black was fired. I think he was fired the next day. And then Ty Lu was promoted to head coach. Now, um, a lot of people were saying that LeBron had a lot of had a lot of respect for Ty Lu simply because of the way Ty Lu went about handling his business. He was very direct. He would he would, you know, he was a straight shooter. If he told you if you if he thought a certain thing, he would tell you exactly what he thought. He wasn't going to pull any punches. And I think that that was something like LeBron respected. And he had been a player in the NBA because David Blatt had a lot of coaching experience overseas, but he had never uh, coached in the NBA. So those things were a lot of the things that had that were working in the favor of Ty Lue. Long story short, he ended up coaching uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And it was at one point, I think uh, Ty Lue told him, I think in a huddle or something like this, in a timeout, Ty Lue told LeBron to shut the F up. And he didn't really pull back. He just told him exactly how it was. So I think LeBron had a lot of respect for him. The two, the two ended up working really well because they ended up going to the finals and coming back from down from 3-1 against the Golden State Warriors and winning that series. Now, <clears throat> LeBron has this extra added level of success of respect for Tyler because they actually won in the finals before. So it's obvious that he's going to actually have a sort of sweet spot for him, but he knows that he's been in a battle with this guy. Now, if you've been following the story, the Lakers, after they fired Luke Walton with the first year when LeBron was there, and a lot of people were saying that he didn't really like Luke Walton, and you know Luke Walton knew he was out of the play, out of there anyway. But a lot of unfortunate circumstances happened in in L.A. with all the injuries, and LeBron himself got injured, so they ended up parting ways with Luke Walton. And there was this coaching opening, this position that they were not looking up. How are we going to get a coach to come in? So. As they were scouting for new coaches, it just so happened that Ty Lu became available. And with the availability of Ty Lu, he actually went to go interview with the Lakers, but they offered him, I think it was like a three-year deal, where he was looking for a five-year deal because he's like, hey, listen, I just won an NBA championship. I have a championship on my resume, so there's no reason you guys should be um, offering me such a lousy contract. So he ended up turning down the Lakers' proposal to him and he went quiet. No one really heard anything about him up until recently that we're hearing that he's going to be the top assistant coach to the uh, for the L.A. Clippers under Doc Rivers. Now, what does this mean as far as a chess move by the Clippers? Some people may say, well, it doesn't make a, da- a bloody difference whether or not they have Ty Lue or not. But I believe that it plays a part. Why? Because Ty Lue knows LeBron really well, and obviously the Lakers are going to be the direct competitors to the Clippers. I mean, literally. They're in the same building, so obviously they're going to be the direct competitors, not just figuratively, but literally. They're down the hallway uh, from them. So now you have someone that knows LeBron really well, his tendencies and all this different stuff. And obviously he's going to bring an added advantage when the Lakers face off against the Clippers at some point in the season or in the playoffs. He's going to know a lot about LeBron's tendencies and all this stuff. So he's going to be able to feed a lot of information to Doc Rivers. Additionally, Doc actually coached... Uh, you know, went against LeBron in the, in the playoffs a lot in the Eastern Conference when he was coaching, uh, coaching the Boston Celtics. So what I'm, uh, you know, taking from this is that I think that the the Clippers just had just added another advantage to their to their team. Now, what I want to know from you guys is that 
is that do you think that this means anything at all or nothing at all? Do you think the Lakers are actually going to get a, 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 a the Clippers are going to have a, is this going to be of any an advantage to the Clippers or do you think it means nothing at all? For me, I think it's going to make a difference. That, But I want to know what you guys think. If you think that the Lakers are going to beat the Clippers regardless of whether or not they add a Ty Lue or not, let me know in the comment section below. If you think that the Clippers had just even gained an added advantage, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. So, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as we put out new content. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys a great day. Peace.